Speaking of brilliant, right on cue, Russ oh, Mitchell is great. here. Oh, see, wasn't that nice? Oh, Our SEC you're a professional. Hey, you get paid to do that. Russ, we got a couple of uh, SEC games featuring ranked opponents this week. We got Georgia Mizzou, which is very interesting considering all of the, the, the Bulldogs injuries, Florida LSU, and then you have Ole Miss and Texas A&M with the subplot being, remember that Rebels quarterback Bo Wallace said that his receivers are better than Johnny Manziel's receivers. So give me three things you think we're going to learn about the SEC this weekend. Yeah, and, and I have some breaking news, Bonnie. Okay. Um, Nancy Reagan has removed herself for consideration for the college football playoff committee. Oh, that's unfortunate. So Connelly's and Rice intimidated oh, her, right? Is that what happened? Right. Johnny, here are my top three things for the weekend. Uh, three, Johnny Favre should reach the top of the Heisman list after he demolishes the record book at Oxford, Mississippi, if his team can avoid having the six turnovers they had last year. Two, Mizzou has been feasting on the children of the football poor through the first half of the season that ends this weekend. And one, Doug, Gator quarterback Tyler Murphy ain't all that. He's played in one stadium, Commonwealth Stadium on the road. It, Lexington's a beautiful place, but it's not Death Valley. I love you, brother. Rush, you know I love you. No, if, this, if this were it's last year, we're talking about last year's LSU defense, I would absolutely agree with you. But did you watch that Mississippi State game? They barely held Mississippi State to 500 yards, 486 yards of offense. Come on. What do you think the Florida Gators are doing? Florida Gators have a much better defense. Tyler Murphy's an upgrade. Over 70% of his passes are being completed. One interception, five TDs. He makes faster decisions than Driscoll. Driscoll sat in the pocket, held the ball too long, padded it too long, did not make decisions. Tyler Murphy's a little bit better athlete. They'll get him out on the perimeter, and they're going to run the ball more. Don't be surprised. Now, here's the thing. LSU should win the football game. Tyler Murphy's going to have to make three special plays. Not just good plays, but three special plays. A third and six, he's going to have to run. He's going to have to put a ball in a window. He's going to have to take one to the house. He's going to have to make a proper read on the read option. He's going to have to make proper decisions. And he's if he doesn't turn the ball over, they can win this football game. They're going to move the ball this, over this LSU. He can't hear himself. The this offensive line isn't going to be able to defensive last year. They're not going to be able to communicate. You're He's still... not going to be able to be efficient. Look, the old, if this kid was good, he would have been playing ahead of Jeff Driscoll. They were in the same campus on the same team for three years. And you guys, you guys are arguing the wrong point. We, we keep saying this about him. Florida over and over again. It's not about the quarterbacks. It's about the power running game. It's about the defense, and it's about the special teams. The quarterback's job for Florida – don't screw it up. Keep the chains moving. Do what you have to do. You know what? The good play might be on third and ten. Throw it in the fifth row. That's fine. Rely on this defense. It's the D, even without Dominique Easley, that's going to control this game for Florida. I think I think LSU wins, but I think this D and this running game for Florida are giving LSU a big time They've challenge. simplified the playbook. Tyler Murphy won't have to do too much, so he won't make mistakes. He'll make a few special plays, and I'm telling you, the running game will help them. The defense will keep LSU in check. LSU's defense, though, is not as good as they were last year. That's what the big problem is. Final word, Ryan. Yeah, and Doug, to Doug's point, LSU's defense right now is ranked seventh in the SEC. But if you actually factor for only SEC on SEC competition, LSU's defense is 10th. 10th. So you're right. This is by no stretch of the imagination LSU's defense from last year or the year before. However, you're kidding yourself, Doug. This is Death Valley. The crowd plays such a factor here. And LSU's offense is the best LSU offense I have ever seen. I can't argue with you on ever. that. But Florida's argue. defense. Florida's defense is good, but Florida's offense in Death Valley is not going to be able to keep up with them. All right, Russ, thank you.